So you have done your video title, descriptions, thumbnail sort out, and now we are going to look at text, cards, and also end screen. Before we go to text, we want to choose a playlist first. You might want to create a new playlist if this is your first time doing this. A playlist is like category, so you want to put video that are at the same category at the same playlist so that your subscriber can watch related video to the one that they are currently watching. Next, if your video is for children like cartoons, toys, then you tick on the first box. And this video obviously is not, so I will take the no. Click on more options and text. So the fact is that um, YouTube algorithms do not know what is your video is all about. So if you rank your video based on the elements such as um, keywords on your title, descriptions, and also tags. So it is very important to put related tags on all of your videos. So you might be asking now, Wing, what sort of tags should I be putting? A tip for you is that look for a high engagement video for the similar video that you are having and copy and paste their tags. So for example, my video is about um, YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to copy whatever text that this video has over here since it has a very, very high views. Now, without YouTube Buddy, you will not know what text does this video use. So if you have not downloaded YouTube Buddy yet, kindly do it now. I have left the link at the description box. As you can see over here on the right hand side, you have all the text over here that this video is using. And all you need to do now is to copy this text and paste it on your video. And when you're done, click on next. If you are new, your YouTube channel will not be seeing this as it has not qualified for YouTube monetization program and you will not be able to um, see this over here. So just click on next. Okay, here is where we are going to put your end screen and cards. Before we do that, let's look at what is exactly an end screen. So an end screen is a YouTube feature that appear in the last five to 20 seconds of a video. YouTuber can use their end screen to promote videos, playlists, merchandise, and also external website. Your end screen can help you to get more views, traffic, and also subscriber from every single video. When someone finish watching your video, there are a lot of things that they can do next. They can um, watch another video, they can hit back to YouTube homepage, or they might even leave YouTube. So this end screen video increases the odd that your viewer does what you want them to do, which is watch more of your videos and subscribe to your channel. On the other hand, cards are pretty um, similar with end screens. Cards are pre-formatted notifications that appear on desktop and mobile, which you can set up to promote your brand and others' videos on your channel as well. So once they are set up, a small rectangular box or teaser will appear on the top right corner of the video to give your fans a preview of the message. Cards works very, very well when they are placed in conjunction with scripted call to action or when they are related to your video content. So for example, if you mention that a, um, a specific video or a piece of merchandise, you could try adding a card at that exact moment. Cards are very convenient because they give the viewer an option to click and if they don't, it just disappears from their views. So it is very convenient. Now, let's click on end screen and check it out. Click on add elements. As I mentioned before, with end screen, you can promote a videos, playlists, um, subscriptions to your channel. You can promote another channel and also link to a website. So in this video, I will promote a playlist that is related to this video over here. Click on create. Click on choose a video or playlist. So I am going to choose this playlist where all the videos inside here teaches people how to build a successful YouTube business. Click on create elements. You click on save and return to YouTube Studio. Next, we are going to look at cards. Click on add, add card. And choose the video that you want. Generally, I will put videos at the interval of every 60 seconds. 
If you do it too often, say it's like um, 30 seconds, it may be too annoying for the viewer as the pop-up keep coming out. When you're done, click on Return to YouTube Studio. Click on Next. Choose Public. And click on Publish. You are done. Congratulations, you have just published your first video on YouTube. Good job.